How's it going, Green Dreamers? Jim here. Jessica. And we're here to talk to a little bit today about being problem focused versus solution focused. Recently, I seen an Instagram post, and this person was concerned that just being knowledgeable about all the thing, all the uh, environmental concerns there are, the oceans, global warming. You know, she almost wondered if it would be better not knowing because all the knowing just caused her a lot of anxiety and just uh, and uh, depression overall. Uh, that can be overwhelming all these huge problems and you think like you know can it even be solved right yeah it's i mean it's a lot of problems if you think about all the problems all the time it, it does get overwhelming it it would be too much to deal with you know also like want to just throw on the towel like well this we're screwed you might what, what, what can we do <laughs> and cut What are your thoughts on that? Uh, well, if you're problem focused, you're just focusing on the problem. <laughs> you're not focusing on the, how to fix the problem. A lot of people don't think about that. Very succinct. Well, video's over. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I responded, um, you know, over here, yeah, you know, we're very well aware of how being problem focused, or yeah, being problem focused can it just cause anxiety and issues. So we try to be more solution focused. If possible, we try to get past the problem and just focus on how to correct that, or maybe even turn that problem into a positive, solu a positive uh, solution to that. Maybe the problem can be the solution. Whoa. Whoa. Mind blown. That's a Jeff Lawton quote, isn't it? It's a, it's well, a, it's a very permaculture, permaculture idea. Thing, thing to do. Yeah, because uh, everything is connected and if you change your perspective, sometimes you can see the problem as being a solution. And there are so many issues, there are so many big problems. You know, I said, you know, there's, you can't rely on the government's not going to, to fix these things. Corporations aren't going to fix these things. It's going to be individuals. That's what it's up to. It's up to people like, like us out here, people doing this uh, kind of movement, people that are worried about the environment can take that power into their own hands to make change. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. And I like to think about it as, uh, I like to think about the idea of control versus creation. So there's a lot of things in life that we can't control. You can't control the way other people think or act. Um, and a, a lot of things that happen in your life and when you're focusing on problems you know that comes up like oh these people are doing things that way and you just get frustrated because you don't have control over that situation it's very disempowering to think that way you feel helpless you get anxiety you get depression um, but when you change that into thinking about creation, what can you do? What can you create? What can you do constructively? Uh, that can be very uplifting. It can be very empowering to yourself or to other people. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, they responded back to me. Like, when you talk about solution focused, are you talking about more about your actions or larger actions in general and I was like no it's it's got to be individual action we're absolutely thinking about what we can do personally because if you're talking about 
long lasting sustainable change it's got to be on a small scale that's the only way it's going to be sustainable that's the only way it's going to be long lasting now when you're talking about like changes that we can make out here you're talking about earthworks stuff like that some people have imagined giant earthworks that um, giant ponds and want to tear up a whole field but in actuality smaller more frequent earthworks can be uh, not only more effective but also more easily managed than uh, you know large unwielding things I think it's that way with uh, most things in life you start small it's more manageable and it's not overwhelming that way and you know you gotta think like it starts with you if you want to start a movement of people like you gotta start doing it yourself you can inspire more people to do it that is exactly that is the quote that I love it's a quote that we live by here and that is be the change you want to see in the world yeah I just think that's very profound thought and it really puts the burden of responsibility on oneself to to start that enact those changes that you want to see around you yeah it's about personal responsibility and empowering yourself to do that and I think the very first place to start is with your own beliefs and your own thoughts and so if you change the way you're thinking from focusing on the negative to focusing on the positive, you're putting your energy and attention towards something good, something positive, and your actions are going to follow in that positive way. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Like, it's just sometimes those things can be so overwhelming, but it's just little by little just being conscious of where your thoughts are going and then and try and steer it to more more positive more helpful more helpful avenues it's just one day at a time <laughs> yeah even if you can't save the world like you can still feel really good about what you're doing when you're living in a way that uh, goes along with your values and you're trying to do something good for yourself and good for other people like you you shouldn't feel bad about that don't get discouraged and I guarantee you you will make an impact if you start living a life more harmonious with nature and start improving the land and the land around you people are going to take notice and more people will start to change more people will follow along because they see that it is a the right and healthier way to live but thanks a lot for watching we appreciate it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe why not <laughs> <laughs> so much is going on out here you got to see how we're uh, how we're focusing on solutions mm -hmm. We got a lot of solutions going on out here. <laughs> All right. And you can follow us where? Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's right. All right. Bye, everyone.